Do you want to see Sydney Sweeney and Glenn Powell fall in love and then out of love and in love with each other on camera in a movie in Australia during the winter time with your friends? Then come see this movie and I guarantee you, you'll laugh and cry and you'll have a great time. It's a gigantic cast. It's 12 huge personalities. Uh, so the scenes when they all 12 of them were in the scenes together, it was like, it was a little bit of a goat rodeo. Uh, but uh, it was fun and they all had a great time filming it, I think. And they all liked each other a lot. So if you like each other a lot, uh, that helps a lot. But those scenes were, um, were uh, when I woke up in the morning, I said, oh, this is the scene with all 12 of them. It, it was going to be a challenge. Um, just because there was so much stuff and they're all so good, it's kind of to figure out how to get each person their, 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 their kind of time to shine. But um, at the end of the day, it was really fun. I would, and tw 12, 12, is a, 12 is about enough. I'd, I'd say that's about enough. You know, people always say in these things, like, oh, they had a great time making the movie. Um, they literally had a great time making the movie. It was summer camp. It was, it was summer in Australia. Everyone came down there not knowing anything, not knowing each other. They all fell in love with each other. They all spent every moment of each time. in the weekends, all, they all grouped at everything together. And because of that, no one went back to their trailers. No one went back. To, they all hung out on set and played around, and there's music playing, and... and you want that lightness to, to be there in a movie, and, and this one did not need to be manufactured. Um, and yeah, I just realized looking at all the, the behind the scenes stuff, they do seem to be jumping around a lot, but they had a good time. Sydney is, is you'll see in the, in the trailer in the movie, is extremely beautiful. And you, after about the fifth, first 15 minutes of the movie, you just start staring at the blue skies and the ocean and everyone in the, in the having fun in the water and you kind of forget whatever city you are in the West, whether it's Europe or in America, and uh, really want to look into those flights to Australia. I really enjoyed filming this movie in, uh, in all around Sydney and Australia and the most fun I think I've ever had on a movie set was when we filmed all the beach uh, scenes in a place called Palm Beach, which is one of the fanciest and most beautiful places in er on Earth, actually. And um, we would shoot all day, and then the crew would all go home, and they allowed uh, our three trailers, myself, Sydney, and Glenn's trailer, to, to stay uh, right on the beach. So we all decided, instead of going back home, we would just sleep in the trailers, because you always forget that you can actually sleep in these trailers. They're not just, you know, a place to feel like a big dog. So we... Uh, Every night we, we filmed, we went for a swim, and then we all hung out on the beach, and it was literally the most stunning. You'd wake up at 5.30 in the morning with the sun coming up over the ocean, and it was, the air was beautiful, and it was so quiet, and it was, it was the most beautiful place I think I've ever woken up for five straight days, it was, and, it was, it was, and it's in the movie, right? So that's the ocean we're looking at, and our trailers are right there in the water, so I'll never forget that. Yes, a lot of the times, uh, especially this, the landing in a helicopter at, at the Sydney Opera House. Um, and I remember we kept asking for things, and they kept saying no. And I would ask my line producer, Catherine Bishop, "Is this an is this a no?" And they say, "In Australia, it's like the eleventh. The eleventh no is means it's going to be a yes." And it would get to be, "What about the helicopter? We're on the seventh no, eighth no, but don't worry about it." And sure enough, like the twelfth no became a yes, and they allowed us to to shoot in the helicopter landing at the opera house and having Glenn Powell jump out of the helicopter without any stuntman, without any harnesses and just do it. And um, it was very safe, but uh, there was that moment when we were filming and I was like, and I remember looking at Glenn and saying, I cannot believe they're letting us do this. And Glenn goes, I, I can't either. And then he jumped out of the helicopter. This movie is, is it's almost like it almost feels like you're a fly on the wall watching these people have fun and, and fight and laugh and love and fall out of love with each other. But because they, they like each other so much, all of the whole cast, including Sydney and Glenn, this, this, sense of, this sense of companionship and fun and joy just kind of exudes 
off the screen, and that's not something I did, that's not something the script did, that's something the cameras did, that's just who these people are. And it's really fun, especially nowadays, to kind of be a fly on the wall and watch people who are going through some, going through some stuff have fun and get out of there on the right side and with a big smile on their face and do it in a funny way, in an edgy way. And, you know, this movie is not going to solve any world problems, um, but it is going to show you that people can can have a good time and have a and 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 live happily and funnily and and enjoy themselves. And when you go see this movie, you can't help but come out feeling a little bit of optimism for the humans.